We're here with Jay Tobia, product manager for the Studio System, talking about some of the benefits of 3D printing in 17.4 pH stainless steel, as well as some of the applications you can do with the Studio System. So Jay, to start off, can you talk about 17.4 as a material and some of the unique properties and applications that it has? Absolutely. So 17.4 pH is a precipitation hardening stainless steel. Let's break that down a bit. So it's a stainless steel. What that means is it's going to be corrosion resistant. It has corrosion resistance similar to about a 304 grade stainless steel, which is going to be less corrosion resistant than our 316L stainless steel. It's still going to be much more corrosion resistant than a carbon steel. So it's also a precipitation hardening steel. In addition to its largely martensitic microstructure, it's also going to form copper precipitates. And that precipitation hardening is what gives 17.4 pH specifically its high hardness and mechanical strength. It's also a very heat treatable material. So you'll hear names for heat treat such as H900 or H1025. That's the temperature you hold the steel at before you cool it. And that's going to give 17.4 pH higher hardness and higher mechanical strength, depending on how you heat treat it. Specifically, 17.4 um, is used in a lot of different industries. So anywhere from petrochemical to um, a lot of industrial applications to medical, aerospace, a lot of industries make use of 17.4 pH. Awesome. So obviously, you know, a lot of people are using this, this material for different things. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, some applications and that people have been prototyping with 17.4 in the studio system? Absolutely. 17.4 pH is a really great material to prototype with because it allows you to functionally test your prototypes that you're making. With the studio system specifically, you can prototype in the office. So you don't need any highly specialized facilities. You don't need any specifically trained operators. Anyone can use the studio system and you avoid the hassle with other systems such as programming a CNC or sending out drawings or the long lead times associated with those types of processes. Um, 17.4 is going to be great for prototyping parts. Here's a really good one. It's going to be this extruder nozzle. So this extruder nozzle is going to control the flow of a highly loaded ceramic slurry. Corrosion resistance here is important because it needs to stand up to the slurry. Also the higher hardness is going to be very important because it needs to be wear resistant. The studio system is a great system to produce this part with because uh, machining is going to have trouble machining these deep, complicated lofts in this part. The studio system can produce them easily. In addition, in order to make a smoother internal surface, you can clean this part up in the green state um, before it's sintered to avoid difficult machining or post-processing, such as um, extrude honing, to make this part. Another really good use for 17.4 in prototyping is going to be in the production of something like a golf club. So these manufacturers really want to iterate on the design and make the best club they can, and they want to test it before they go on to make some. So this part is extremely complex and will require some difficult machining to make this part, and then different machining programs if you make any iterations on this part. With the studio system, you can quickly iterate on this design and actually swing the golf club, test it, go back, make modifications, and get your part turned around quickly. Awesome. So uh, as far as prototyping, obviously there's, there's a couple different applications, but how about end use? Is there other ways that uh, people have been using the studio system to produce parts that are actually going in and, and being used? Absolutely. So the studio system is perfect for this because we're creating parts that are going to meet the MPIF minimum specifications. So that means that there's an industry specification for the materials we produce. That combined with the ability to make complex geometries or consolidate assemblies really make the case for producing a part that's used in an end-use application. So something like this parachute ring has really complex shape to it. So typically this is either machined, which makes an expensive part, or it's forged. And that's going to make for an expensive initial setup and then cheaper parts afterwards. Creation in the studio system allows you to create these complex bends and curvature in this part without using one of those um, types of production methods. Additionally, um, this can be heat treated to stand up to the strength requirements that's required of this part. Another really um, great application for 17.4 in the studio system is going to be end effectors. So if you're manufacturing a part and you need to hold it, you use something like an end effector on the end of a gripper. What that's going to do is grab the part that you're manufacturing. 17.4 is going to be great for this because you want to stand up to repeated use over time. And the studio system is going to be perfect, specifically the high resolution print head, to create these fine details, which are going to be critical for gripping a small, fine, featured part. Additionally, if that part ever changes, you can easily go back and make an iteration on the design to give yourself a different design in a minimal amount of time. Great, so that's a whole bunch about 17.4 as a material and some awesome applications for the studio system. Be sure to check out more of these applications and others in the Desktop Metal Resource Center.